Hello and welcome to another ASD, ASD Tech Tips. Today's video is going to focus on kind of a forgotten Google app called Google Drawing. And basically, the first thing you need to do, of course, is sign into your Google Apps account. So go ahead and go to google.com and sign in. Remember, it's going to be first initial last name at schwabenak12.org. And then whatever your preset or whatever the password is, you change from that original preset. Okay? This is going to take us to google.com. I see that I'm logged in up here. I'm going to click on Drive to get to my Google Drive. And as my drive's loading, okay, many of you went to our summer institutes and or, uh, tech uh, professional development op uh, opportunities. And at each one of those offerings, we offer things on Google Docs, presentation, spreadsheet form. Um, however, we didn't talk about drawing. And I think drawing really has some nice classroom um, impl implementation that we could use. Basically, when you start a drawing, you have a blank slate. Just like all the other Google Docs, if you click up here on Untitled Drawing, you can name your doc. You can name your drawing. Okay. And then it's blank. Um, it's very similar to Publisher, and that means you can insert um, shapes, drawings, lines, text box, images. The insert images works just like the other Google products, so I can go here, I can upload an image if I want, but I can click on search and I can pull something directly from Google image that is already labeled for commercial reuse and modification. So if I was doing something on Jaguars, I could search that. I can grab the picture, so it's select. It's going to throw it into my drawing. I can make it smaller. I can spin it. I can move it to wherever I'd like. Okay, and then could add a text box. And maybe in my text box, I have facts about Jaguars. Okay, maybe you can have bolted facts. So I have fact one, fact two. Okay. Now, maybe I want to draw a line from my picture to my text box so I know that those go together. Maybe I decided that I want to have a background color so I can just draw a shape over this whole thing. Okay, change the color of that shape. Maybe I want a nice dark green. Hmm. Try that again. This is my shape color over here. Maybe I want a nice dark green. I then can right click. I can take my order. I can send that to back. And all of a sudden, I am here. Okay. Um, basically, you can make this shape whatever you want. The reason I want to show you this is because a lot of you, a lot of you have classroom opportunity for using a document or for a presentation, but you're looking for that poster, that online poster um, opportunity, and this does that for you. You can have you you can use this whole space wherever you want, but then it still has all the sharing ability that any other Google Doc has. You can share it, you can edit it, you can view it, you can comment. All that good stuff, it'll, it'll show up in your student's drive. Um, so again, if you're looking for a digital poster space, Google Drawing is where it is at. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or one of your local LMSs and they'll be glad to help you. If not, um, enjoy using Google Drawing and have a great day.